Hello everyone, I hope you're staying safe and healthy during this crazy time during quarantine. My name is Sam, I'm a graduate student at Purdue University studying chemical engineering, and today we have my mom joining us. Hi everyone! Uh, today we have a few experiments planned for you that are going to examine the property of density. Now what is density, you may ask? Well, density is a measure of mass per unit volume or space that an object occupies. To illustrate, let's think about a golf ball and a ping pong ball. Both are relatively the same size, and they're same color, same shape, yet one weighs a lot more than the other one. Why is this? The golf ball is much more dense than the ping pong ball. Now, before we get started with our first experiment, we need to put on our safety glasses because it's very important to be safe in the laboratory and we want to protect our eyes. Normally, we'd wear gloves, but today we're not using any hazardous chemicals. These are all things that you can find in your house, so we're not going to be wearing gloves today, and we're going to be safe. So without further ado, let's get started with the first experiment we have planned. Now here we have a little bit of canola oil, some water, some maple syrup. We're going to start by pouring the maple syrup into this glass, making sure we get all of it in there. And we're going to pour the water in there slowly. And last, we're going to end with the canola oil. Now you may notice something happening already. We're going to let that sit there. We'll move on to our next experiment. We're going to be constructing a rainbow bottle. So here we've got three different glasses. These all have, or started with water, about two, two thirds of a cup of water. And then to this one, we added about two thirds of a cup of sugar, third of a cup of sugar to this one, and we didn't add any sugar to this. Adding the sugar to the water increases the density. So this solution is much more dense than this solution, and this solution is much more dense than this solution. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some food coloring. We're gonna color these solutions so that you can make a nice rainbow in a bottle here. So mom, would you mind helping me make a purple solution in this one? And I'll start by making a red solution in this one. Sure. We're gonna add a drop of red and a drop of blue to make purple. We're gonna drop a red to this one. We're gonna mix them up. This one we're going to add some yellow food coloring. Add two drops just to be safe. Mom, would you mind mixing that up for me? Now what we have here is a standard 16 by 9 fluid ounce or 16.9 fluid ounce water bottle that you can find almost in any house. You can pick it out of your recycle bin, your trash can. All you got to do is rip the wrapper off. We've got a funnel here to help us pour these solutions in carefully. So we'll start with our most dense solution, purple solution. Hopefully we won't spill too much. Okay. And we'll pour in our yellow solution. Solution. All right. Now we'll let that 
let's sit a little bit while we start our third experiment we have planned. Now the third experiment we have, we're just going to use some baking soda, a little bit of vinegar, maybe a lighter, and a little candle. Since we're using fire, be sure to go get an adult, older brother, older sister, grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle, mom, dad, whoever. So I've got my mom here who's going to help us out. So mom, would you mind lighting a candle for us? We don't want anyone getting burned or hurt from this. So there, we got our candle going. Now we're going to pour the vinegar, it's about a quarter cup of vinegar, into about a little less than half a spoonful of baking soda. So mom, would you mind pouring those together? Pour very slowly, we don't want to uh, overflow. I'm sure all of you know what's going to happen when we combine these two reactants. Now what this is going to do is it's going to create carbon dioxide. This carbon dioxide gas is much more dense than the air around it, so it's going to sit in this cup almost like the cup's full of water. Now here we've got our candle. So what does a candle need to burn? Well, it needs oxygen from the air around it. So what happens when we pour this carbon dioxide gas over top of the candle, it's gonna displace all the normal air around it, causing the candle to extinguish. So let's see what happens as mom pours our gas over top of the candle. See that? Didn't take very long at all and the candle went out because our Dense carbon dioxide displaced all the air around it and extinguished the candle. It's pretty neat, isn't it? So here, let's come back over here. Let's look at our first experiment now. Look what happened. See, we got these three layers going on right here. So you see you got the oil sitting on top of the water, which is sitting all on top of the syrup. It's because the syrup is much more dense than the water, and the water is much more dense than the oil. We've got this nice, cool three-layer solution here that we can look at. And then on to our second experiment, we got a rainbow bottle here. So you've got our purple on the bottom, got our yellow in the middle, and our orange and red on top. Looks real nice if you hold it up to the sunlight. We'll look, look over that way. You can see those right there. These were a few fun experiments you can do at home while you're stuck inside. So hopefully you enjoy. Stay safe, stay healthy, and thanks for joining us today. Take care and boiler up.